All right, so we're going to use our, to find the slope of uh, all three sides, we have to use the slope formula, which is uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if we're going to use k as x1, y1, then when you sub in, you should have gotten this. And when we simplify, 4 minus 1 is 3 over 1 minus negative 3. And remember that the sign changed to plus positive, so that's going to be 3 over 4. For lm, the slope is going to be 0 minus 4, which is negative 4, over 4 minus 1, which is positive 3. And so our slope is negative 4 over 3. For km, it's 0 minus 1, which is negative 1, all over, and once again, the minus negative, we can consider that as plus positive, is negative 1 over 7. So looking at the slopes for KL and LM, remember that KL, uh, sorry, remember that um, perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of one another. And so that means that since negative, uh, sorry, 3 over 4 and negative 4 over 3 are perpendicular lines, then we can say that KL is perpendicular to LM. And so for part C, where it asks, what conclusion can you make about this about the triangle? The conclusion that you can make from part A is that it's isosceles, that the triangle is isosceles. And since KL and LM are negative reciprocals, then these two lines are perpendicular. So uh, this triangle is an isosceles and a right triangle. So it's both an isosceles and a right triangle.